At 66 stories, the Stantec Tower in the Ice District, Edmonton, Alberta, is Canada's tallest building west of Toronto and the city's first mixed-use high-rise. 200 of the tower's 483 condominiums have balconies. If left uninsulated, the balcony slabs would act as cooling fins to conduct heat away from interior spaces, wasting energy and chilling interior floors. Worse, interior surfaces adjacent to the cold penetrations could reach the dew point and support mold growth. To prevent these problems, the architectural and mechanical team specified isocorb structural thermal breaks between the interior floor slabs and the balcony slabs at the building envelope. Insulation inside the thermal break is provided by a longitudinal block of graphite-enhanced expanded polystyrene, the same approximate width as the building envelope and the same depth as the balcony slab. Stainless steel reinforcement bars cross the insulation to provide a robust connection and transfer the load from the balcony to the interior floor slab while preventing corrosion and conducting two-thirds less heat energy than carbon steel rebar. The rebar extending from both sides of the module is wire tied to the rebar of the interior floor slab and the exterior balcony, both of which are then cast in concrete. Thermal modeling performed by Stantec indicates that interior temperature of slab edges equipped with isocorb thermal breaks would be six to seven degrees higher than interior slab edges lacking them. According to Stantec Vancouver's project architect, the structural thermal breaks also eliminated the need for baseboard heating at balcony doors and windows. Isocorb structural thermal breaks are available to simultaneously insulate and support concrete balconies, concrete slab edges, concrete to steel canopies, concrete parapets, and steel to steel canopies, beams, and rooftop connections. For more information, contact Shook, the originator and largest producer of structural thermal breaks with over 10 million installations worldwide.